Well, for my money, she is as accomplished a striker as any woman in the game at present. Tonight, though, she's got to focus on keeping this fight upright. She has to stay on her feet. If she is taken down early, it will be a long night for her. She has to manage the space. She has to sprawl and brawl, and she has to fight with that ferocity that she is known for. It's the aggressive attitude, the aggressive approach that she takes that makes her one of the more exciting fighters in the UFC. And she told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday, she doesn't necessarily want to fight on a napkin in the center of the octagon, right? She wants to control distance, manage range effectively. She has certainly done that every step of the way thus far in her UFC career. distant future, but Amanda Nunes showing no signs of slowing down. Won her title back against Juliana Pena midway through 2022, and yet another title fight for the Lioness here tonight. I'm going, John. When Amanda Nunes goes into the Hall of Fame, I'm going. Yeah. I got to be in attendance. She is that special to the sport. She has elevated female fighting with her performances and her dominance. And that win over Juliana Pena showed that even in her darkest hour, she is still the best in the world. But tonight, she has another challenge ahead of her that she has to try and get through to once again add to the legacy that she has built so far ahead of anything else we have seen. Right, and most pundits believe that when Amanda Nunes is focused and in the gym, she's the best 135 or 145-pound fighter in the world. Or 155. Yeah. <laughs> Fighters, no, you're right. as anybody. And she will look to prove as much yet again here tonight. All right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> referee for this one. So here is the Dutch striker, Jermaine Duran, to be ready to go here for round one. She can put it all together on the feet. Power in all limbs. The leg kicks are outstanding. Clinch works some of the best in this division. And she's humble, too. Not in the octagon, though, as her opponent can attest. Here we go. Effective use of the jab there by Duran Oh, nice investment with the kick to the body. A beautiful shot lands to the leg. Nunes gets the early takedown. That did not take long. Oh, nice punch there in the clinch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Randomly gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Look at how she drives her knee right into her opponent's midsection. Durandamy gets hit with a kick. Three minutes to go. Oh, lands a huge left hand. She lands a beautiful leg kick. Rips the body shot there. 
Oh, going for the takedown here. Beautiful work on the feet tonight by Nunes. Nice job to land the straight touch there. So he thought maybe she'd go for the takedown after catching the leg. Instead, decides to go back to her bread and butter, her striking, and certainly found the target there. Look for the backhand to get very active. Oh, she's in a world of trouble now. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Nunes. And there's a takedown attempt. Great job getting to a position right into that single column. Less than a minute now to go in round one. have started to pile up. Clearly, they're having the desired effect. Oh. Now, two is next. All right, so there's the horn. The round is over, and we've got more fighting. It looked like maybe we'd get a finish there after she landed upstairs. Well, she was excited. She thought it was done. How does she reshift? How does she get herself back in the moment to try to repeat what she just did, but also top it and actually get the finish? You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Second round on the way. All right, so as this round gets underway, let's see if the high-level action continues. Both women had their moments in that previous round. Now we'll see if there's more aggression, and we'll see if one fighter can really take control. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, she cracked her there. Beautiful shot out of the clinch. Oh, she's got her in a lot of trouble. left leg appeared to be damaged by that last kick, so could be an emerging storyline as this fight continues. Oh, man, she landed a hell of a front kick there. That's a great Muay Thai technique. When your opponent's trying to charge you, you land that kick to try to back him up and get your space exactly where you need it. Oh, she gets inside and gets the single collar tie. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Big shot lands for both guys. Oh, swing and a miss. How about the slip by her? What a great job of moving her head right at the right time. Well, she better not be too dismissive of this calf kick because I see some visible bruising now. Well, the first one doesn't bother you. But then before you know it, all of a sudden you can barely walk. She needs to start checking right now. 90 seconds to go now. Look at the inside leg kick. She grounds her opponent now. Could be the beginning of the end, champ. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. One minute now, says the round two clock. Man, she is just breaking her down with volume tonight as she lands another combination. I mean, over and over, she is just landing so many different attacks. It's amazing to watch someone never throw less than three. She's throwing at least three every time she enters. 
great job blocking that shot. Seconds winding down in round two. Oh. Round two next. Stop, stop, stop. stop. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. Watching right, so that last round, another pretty good frame for both fighters. We'll see which woman makes the requisite adjustments here in this next round. Somebody has to really get out ahead. It's too worrisome going to the judges when you know you've been involved in such a competitive fight. Takedown defense is there. Can you believe she is able to keep up the oh, huge connection fire there? Master shot, man. How is she going to try to find the next shot that will finish the fight? Push kick there to the body. Oh, another beautiful kick to the thigh. She has attacked that area to great effect here tonight. She said that was in the game plan. Let's work every part of the body. Right now, the target is the thigh, and she is attacking it effectively. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Under three minutes here to go in the round. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. She wanted out of that clinch and able to get out. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that earlier on, making up for lost time here. Nunez's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage thus far. These two women have both fought so valiantly. They have really laid it out on the line tonight, and it's made for a very fun fight. 72 total strikes have landed for Jermaine Durandamy. And striking at a 40% clip tonight thus far against Amanda Nunes. That opened up a cut around her eye area. Got to shore up the defense. She's got to move her head. She has not moved her head effectively. And now she's dealing with the cut. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nunes. Ground strikes really adding up for her now. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Oh, knee strike right to the body. That was great head movement. Holy oh, man. Oh, look at the inside leg kick. She grabs her opponent now. Could be the beginning of the end, Chip. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Stuff the takedown on no no. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. Well, I'm not sure if the swelling is just cosmetic. She might be severely injured. Let's look back at some replays from that round. Well, when you take shots that clean, you run the risk of being injured and injured badly. She was not good defensively. And ultimately, she's the one that's paying for it. Right, she has right. got to change right. something if right. she wants to stay in this fight. Fourth round now. Fourth round. They're probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike. And you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class. But she lands, and she lands very effectively. Randomly gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. 
Oh, straight punch. It's there again. Nunez going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, gets the single leg takedown. Pretty good velocity on that one. Nunez is in half goal. Making all these shots count. And now she's in mount. That was nice. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. Still is that a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here? I'm not sure how much her opponent... Oh, heavy shots continue to rain down. Under two minutes to go in the round. All right, she's got the full mount here, DC. It's hard for me to remember a time in which you were fully mounted in the UFC. I have never been full mounted. I hope to never be full mounted. And this young lady now finds herself in this position. In this position, what's very key is that she cannot panic. She's got to go and attack the hips, create some space, shrimp off to the side, Reslide it at half guard so that this now she's a little bit safer. Once you're in half, take your under hook, get back to your feet, or fully recover full guard. She's stepping over the mount here. Ten seconds remaining in round four. Short sounds for the end of round four. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen, two of the best women in the world, and they both knocked each other down in that previous round. They decided before they stepped in the octagon that they were going to bite down on their mouthpieces and let the fists fly. They did that. Both of them paid for it, but they both saw the end of the round. Let's see if anyone changes the course as the next round starts. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Swelling now around her jaw, so we'll keep an eye on that storyline as this fight continues, but she has absorbed a lot of strikes to the head thus far. Big punches. Nice defense by her there to block that punch. Takedown defense holds up. Nice uppercut.
able to blow in this fight thus far. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her opponent hurt bad. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. All right, well, she's landed those hooks at a high clip here tonight. Actually, some fans are starting to call her Mrs. Lineker. I think it's a pretty good name. Oh, it's a great nickname because they fight in the same style. She's very heavy-footed because she wants to get everything in. And she lands the double leg takedown. We'll see what she can do with it. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Oh, right into Mount. In the clinch, Duranami's in half guard. Twenty seconds left. Man, she's trying to pound her head through the canvas. That strike opened up a cut. Oh, good ground and pound here. All back and forth action right till the final horn. What a tremendous finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Jermaine the Iron Lady, Deradami. Well, they say if you ain't Dutch, you ain't much. But in all seriousness, we congratulate the former UFC featherweight champion, Jermaine Durandamy. Massive spot for her here tonight, and she emerges with flying colors. This is her division, 135 pounds, and there is no overstating how big a win this was for Jermaine Durandamy.